Welcome back guys, this is this is going to be the sixth part of our videos tutorial series on Node.js, Express.js and MySQL MySQL server. So in, in our previous video tutorial we wrote a method called country dial to and we in it we had a method called get all countries. So in this one we basically make sure this method works. We're gonna basically test this one, okay? To do that I'm going to create a, here is my all the route con information, so I'm going to go in here in my app.js file, I'm going to say, oops, I had a cap log on it, I'm going to create a, a git route here, git request, oh, it's always so bad, okay. is going to be a country list. That's what it is. You know, we're trying to pull out a country list in routes dot country list. Of course, this route doesn't exist right now, so we have to go ahead and create that that route into our routes. Right. So go ahead and create a new route there. Let's go into an index page. For now, I'm just uh, I'm just gonna grab this code from there and change the name as country list, and it's gonna return the country list. It's gonna render the country list jade uh, temp, you know, the view. And I don't need this. This is not what I'm gonna return. Of course, I'm gonna return the empty offset for now. And we're going to close. Okay. Now I have a route called country list. Okay. So the idea is I would like to test my um, country DAO whether it is working correctly or not. So I need to require that country DAO using require. Of course, the country DAO is inside the DAO folder. So I have to uh, get out from my folder. And now go into DAO, and inside the DAO I have countrydao.js. Okay. And now we can we should be able to start using it. So we should say uh, country DAO is a uh, country DAO and it has a method called get all countries and remember it takes the callback function so we're going to specify the callback function the callback takes the countries as an object so uh, object array so if everything is good that means like we have countries now available we can We can do this. We can say go to render the country list, and then into this object, and we can pass something like countries equals to that this callback parameter countries. If everything is good, you know it should work. It should pull out all the requests and everything. And to see whether it work or not, um, we can do some sort of console log here. Before um, let's do a console log the country's information right here, and maybe we can put a breakpoint here somewhere. Okay, of course you know that this now I have my route is defined country list. It takes request and response information. It requires a con country DAO, and and then call the get countries method and pass the callback function for it to execute when the data has been obtained from the MySQL database. And then finally render that view with the data in it. Okay, so I have a, I have a view called country list already defined. So I'm going to go ahead and include this into my project. Um, as I say, this one is very simple. Um, this is the just the like a jade engine. All I'm trying to do here is trying to render data as a table 
I want I want to display country name, country code, local name, the capital population. These are all the columns of that table. Okay, and then I have a remember I have these countries which is defined here. That's what I'm being rendering. Countries. I'm basically iterating through, doing the for each in, on, on each iteration. I'm rendering it as a cell of a table with a given property like a name, code, local name. Of course, they all come from this table here. And then the next thing I have here is just the hyper, just the hyperlink, so then I can could do a next. I can I should be able to see the detail of that country, which I'm going to do a next. And then this is my view. Let's go into our uh, one more thing into into our layout page, and this is where I have my country list defined. Let's go ahead and run this one. Let's see what happens. We do we use the minor code uh, and put a breakpoint into right here in our console log. If something is wrong, you can tell me here into this window. Okay. It's a country list. It came into our breakpoint. Is any data in there? Oh beautiful. Look at this. I was expecting some error or something, so all the country information is here. So each each of them like I said contains here. like this capital code, for example, in this case, the name of the country is um, capital, what is the country? The name of the country, oh, name is Latvia, okay, so Eastern Europe, all right. Okay, so it's good, let's see, it can render this one, so it's, it can, you know, it got the country, now we would like to, uh, See, it can, I don't like it to go through all the Node.js library code, but like for some reason taking me there. I need to get out from here. Get out, get out, get out. Ah, look at this. It's beautiful. Ah, <laughs> it's binding and all the things. It basically, it pull out the data from the MySQL database and then it render. Of course, like, like I said, you know, I'm not going to go into... Um, and close all this, you know, obstacles. No JS library code. Um, this country list J is. I'm not that. I'm I like like y'all. I'm just also learning the Jade layout. So you know, um, the idea is very simple. I have a div. They're basically, you know, a div, inside the div, I have a table because you can see everything is inside there. And this div get a class called row. And then I'm also gonna. I'm using this table, the bootstrap table, so I can do, I can create a table and give a classes here. That's why if I, you have, you, you know, all the hover and all this thing is coming from the bootstrap table class. Not that special. And then, of course, you know, this is the heading of the table. And after that, I have uh, this array of data that I'm iterating through. And this is just the binding that the Jade templating engine uses. That is very simple, okay? That is, that, that, you know, like, the most important thing I want you to guys, you guys do, well, if, you ha if you're not familiar with this one, to be able to, um, this, is, this is all you have to do, to, to call to my SQL database, you know, from the, from the Node.js or from Express.js. Okay, thank you guys. In the next video tutorial, in this sequence, we'll, we'll be talking about how to do this uh, second part, okay? Thank you for watching my videos. Happy coding, guys. Thank you so much.